All righty, we're going to replace some light switches, and guess what? They're made here in the country I was born in. That's a nice thing to see. Okay, we've got a light switch here that's all covered with paint, so we'll take it off here. Two black wires. Here in the country I was born in, we use 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. So let's unhook our two wires here. No ground in this box here. We'll, we have our two white wires wired up together here, so we're going to just see how they did hooking these up. Hey, they did a good job. They twisted evenly. So let's stick our wire nut back on here. This is older 14 2 wire, so there's no ground. It was probably put in before they required the ground. But it's not that old because it's final color wire. Well, he bought me a pack of three-way switches. But you know what? We do not frustrate. We do not get upset. We will just make it work. We will make it work. And praise that my Father. We'll give him glory. We'll give honor. And we will not get angry or frustrated over not having the right stuff. You just make it work. You just got to make it work. You praise God. You give him the glory. You give him the honor. And the way to use a three-way switch for a single pole switch safely and according to code. Uh, they stripped these wires. Or they left a lot of uh, insulation hanging on there. See how... The, all the insulation hanging off of that there. You don't want to get that. See how that's all hanging off there? You don't want to get that under your screw head. So I'm going to just take a slight bit more off like that. And what to do, how to use a three-way switch in place of a single pole switch is we'll close the one screw that we're not going to use, one of the common screws. And we'll close the ground screw because there's not, no ground. And we'll go from our common screw to one traveler screw. And we'll just be thankful. We'll just be thankful for what we have. Okay, we'll put our wire around the screw there. I don't want it to overlap, so I just push it back up a little bit here. Make it nice and tight like that. Then we'll make our loop the brush and our screw turns. Make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure our copper is under the screw head all the way around. We'll pull off the uh, little bit of paper that was left in there from the person stripping the wire. Okay, so 
We'll put this back in. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, Father. All the problems are a challenge, not a problem. We thank the Lord for them. We worship Him. Praise Him. Switch number one down there. It's another single pull switch. We're going to use a, another three-way because he got the wrong switches. But we're not going to frustrate. We're not going to get upset. We're just going to make do with what we got. And praise God for it. The hole must have been stripped out in the box. So pull our wires out here, see what we got here. Again, we just have a black and a white. As you can see, they left a lot of copper behind this one wire here. I didn't get much of a loop on this one. You know, look at our white wires here. See how they fit? They did wire out in these two here. Okay, they did a good job with them. So so you can see they cut the ground wire off, and you know what? There is nothing I can do. That's cut right off. I can't do anything with it. So you know what? I'm not frustrating. I'm just going to put it together with what we got and be thankful. Praise God. We can do what we can do and not complain about what I can't do. And the other one is cut right off, flush to the back of the box. So thank you, Lord. I can do what I can do and not worry about what I can't do. I just want to worship Him. Focus your eyes on Jesus, and I don't worry about what I can't do. I'm going to do what I can do. And that is make sure the connections are good and make it work. It may not be the code, but I didn't put it in. I didn't cut those ground wires off, so I leave it in the Lord's hands. I worship Him. Okay, see how they left a lot of insulation here? See that? That can get under a screw head and cause a problem. So I'm going to... Uh, Strip this back just a little bit more so it's a nice clean strip so we don't get any contamination under our screw head there. And we'll put this wire right around one screw here. Again, we will use the common screw. 
Okay, we're going to close the traveler screw we're not going to be using. And unfortunately, somebody cut the ground wire off, and uh, there's nothing I can do. So we just close our ground screw. We'll put one wire on the... Uh... Now, if that ground wire was long enough, I would have pigtailed it and hooked it to the box and the switch, but it's not, so I'm not frustrating. And I, you know what? I'm not even going to care about it, because... What will I accomplish? What will I accomplish caring about something I can't do anything about? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So you just praise your Heavenly Father, worship Him, focus on Him, and be thankful you can do what you can do, and not worry about what you can't do or what you don't have any control over. So we're just going to do the best we can with this wire because it's so short. Well, you know what? I'm going to pigtail this wire to a Another piece of wire here, and we're going to do a better job with this one. So we're going to get a piece of our tail wire here, and uh, we'll have to take to it. So pull a piece of uh, wire out of this piece of Romex here. We'll strip it here. And we'll strip what we need to put around the screw on the switch. And we'll wire up these two together here. Get our insulation even at the bottom here. Okay, I'm going to put my wire nut on. I'm going to make sure my insulation is going up into the bottom of the yellow wire nut there. And thank you, Lord, that's not tightening. You know what? I'm going to praise him and worship him. And I'm not going to frustrate him. I'm going to clip it slightly more here so maybe it will go. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I just praise him. Just give God the glory. But thankfully, Heavenly Father, it's tightening. I'm just going to do a nice twist here to make sure it's good and tight. Okay, now we put this back into our box and put our other wire around the screw here so we have to uh, give this a little more here. Make a nice loop the direction our screw turns. Okay, under our screw head. When you put a wire around the screw, you got to put it all the way around the screw in the direction that the screw turns. I'm thinking they cut this ground wire off because it's probably hooked up to the older cloth and rubber wire that does not have a ground. And I'm betting that box is buried in the wall somewhere, so. And I didn't put it in, and I'm not going to frustrate. I'm not going to worry about it. It's in God's hands. I worship him. I just give him the glory and praise him. And we did the best we can with what we have. And you worship the Heavenly Father. You don't frustrate. The Heavenly Father knows everything. You just put, put everything in his hands. You don't get upset about anything. You just do the best you can, and that's what I did, the best I can, because I want to give God a praise and honor and glory, and work, all my worship goes to Jehovah. All righty. There we go. We'll just make sure the wires aren't forced anywhere, and we are good to go. So, uh, thank you.
thank you, Lord, for giving me the ability to do the best I can with what we had. It's not up to code what was there, but I did the best I can. I praise you and worship you, Heavenly Father. I give you glory and honor. And uh, here in the country I was born in, we use 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. Black is live, white is neutral, the berry of green is the brown. Red and blue are also live colors. However, you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220-240 volt circuit where the appliance is not required or neutral. So what I did is made the best of what we have. Peace. Thanks for watching.